when you look at a cross section of the Great Pyramid of Giza, I when I see it, I see it as a rocket mass heater. <laughs> Probably because I build rocket mass heaters, but I know if they used geopolymers, they wanted the thermal gain from the outside, and then they heated it from the inside. It sounds like terracotta, obviously slightly different, but yeah, it's a similar. Yeah. It's ter terracotta, like when you actually look into it, it's, you know, as we kind of we talked a little bit off air about this, but we can say it now that um, you're in agreement, kind of, with us, and you know, obviously, countless of people out there that think that we we kind of went from a far more advanced technology. And, and it seemed far simpler, right? And it's gotten more complex and less advanced. Mm -hmm. And terracotta, when they first started, like, really analyzing it and reproducing it, you know, they it took, it was incredibly difficult. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of like geopolymer. We had to relearn these things yes. that seem simple, but it's so, like, to make the really, really long-lasting stuff, it's it's a it's a science down to the half a percentage you know when we're talking about binders and catalysts and all these things right in environment and yes. then on top of that how the material sets the environment in which it sets has mm -hmm. to be controlled too it doesn't have to be but to make the best finished product mm 